Hello YouTube, you know what time it is. It's time for another reaction video. This time to the Acheron tra trailer, Your Color. I have no idea what's going to be in this video. I'm like with a married one, I kind of I kind of seen some stuff. Um, but uh, I'm, I'm excited for Acheron. I will be pulling for Acheron probably not the day her banner comes out. Might be the day after. But I will be pulling for Acheron probably Thursday. Because I think she comes out like Wednesday night in my time zone. So I'll probably play for her Thursday, so you can check that out. Twitch.tv slash Keto Live. Don't forget to leave a like and a subscribe and a comment down below. And if you like the same content, all the things that I just said, let's just get on and get into it. Let's find out what this is all about. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, Pentecost. The Charmony Festival is here, and guests from all walks of life have arrived. Four of this, right after the break. Apply your color. <laughs> Illusion or reality? Care to guess? Hmm. Either way, dusk rain and tears shall fall. I'm scared. I'm. What did you say? Why don't you talk some sense? Do your worst. <laughs> Our existence is fleeting as dawns do, destined for oblivion. <laughs> On the still waters of oblivion, I guide the wandering souls. I weep for the departed. Spring forth, the gleam of all blades. Restore this lost memory. Sounds like Sparkle Lady in us. All that is past has returned to nihility. Just like tears eventually disappear in the rain. Don't look back. There is nowhere to go but forward. What the She's definitely an emanator of nihility. She literally said all ends in nihility. That was Sparkle's illusions. She's trapped on a Sparkle illusion. She immediately broke out. Apply your color. That was some makeup ad. But it looked kind of like her. Find me. Find me. Interesting. Okay, I don't. I, I I need to watch it. I need. Weirdly enough, it was. So there was a part. There was a moment in there where I was like, "This is not great." If that makes sense, like it's okay. But then it kind of like the drop hit in, and like I I don't know. I was expecting a better song, perhaps. I don't know. This was not. Uh. Uh. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know, let me rewatch that. Let me put the captain on. The Charmony Festival is here, and guests from all walks of life have arrived. I like this opening. Apply your I was very confused with the blade thing, then I realized it was an illusion. I don't know why she used Stellar on Hunters as illusions. Because very clearly, Sparkle is messing with her. Yeah, we've got Sparkle's koi fishes, right? She's very clearly pulled into, like, a little bubble. Yeah, a bubble, basically. A Sparkle bubble. <laughs> Illusion or reality? You get ah, you can actually. So hold up, hold up, hold up. Go back, go back. You can. If you listen real carefully, <laughs> you can hear Sparkles. Uh, you can hear Sparkles' voice underneath Blade's voice. 
So they got the voice actor for Blade, obviously, but they actually also they had Sparkle. So it's it's even more you know more, it's not like they're really hiding the fact that Sparkle's doing this. It's just the ways that they're showing that it's definitely Sparkle is really cool. But that's interesting that Sparkle is messing with Acheron. Reality, care to guess? Hmm. Either way, Dusk Swing is too shallow. That's a cool. That's a that's a pose. It's interesting to me because from what we saw of Sparkle's trailer, um, she's also from Izumo, right? Like she's also from from whatever the country is that was swallowed by Nihility and all that other stuff, right? I didn't do a reaction to the 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 the, the trailer of the swords and all that stuff because I just I'll be honest, I didn't really know. I it made no sense to me. Like at the end of the day, it was like it's cool background information and cool story. And it was cool and I like it, but that video was for the Honka Impact third people. Like to be perfectly honest, with you, that video was for the people who knew all the things, who know all the things. Um, I've never played Honkai Impact Third, so I have no context for any of all that harsher stuff and like the correlations and everything along those lines. So I didn't really have much to add to the conversation of that video. So I just didn't, I just didn't do a reaction to it. Did you say? Why don't you talk some sense? Do your worst. So I'm curious why Sparkle chose the Stellaron Hunters to be the illusions that she fights. And not, I'm surprised. I think it's because they're using the in game engine for all of this. Our existence is fleeting as dawn. Still, destined to oblivion. On the still waters of oblivion, I guide the wandering souls. So she really is like the Reaper who guides the, the ferryman. She's like the ferryman who guides the souls to the end. <laughs> Interesting. I weep for the departed. Now that voice, restore this lost memory. I wonder who's voicing that part. I don't think it's, it's not Allegra. Um, it doesn't, it kind of sounds like Sparkle, but not as like sparkled up, I guess. It's like the voice actress is just using a different tone or something. I've seen her before. And here's the ooh, I, that was a good freeze. That was a good freeze. That was a good freeze. So this is from that's like a shot of her back in the day. I wonder if Sparkle is from that time period. Also, like I'm curious now because Spark in Sparkle's thing we saw what looked like space, you know, space Japan kind of thing, and and in in the Myriad trailer you kind of see that as well. So I'm wondering, or maybe she's from what eventually became of what was left, if it didn't really all get swallowed up by Nihility. The end. Wait a minute, what if the death meme is the end from the whatchamacallit trailer? Isn't it called something the end? Death Seeker or something along those lines? Hold up, 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 hold on, hold on. Hold on one moment. My mouse is gonna be on the screen because I'm looking at something in the back. Uh, memory zone means something unto death. Okay, maybe. Maybe that stuff is no, it's just memory zone. Okay, no, it's nothing in particular. Okay, I'm stretching, I'm making stretches now. That's what I'm doing. Find me your end, my origin. Ah, so end and origin, right? Um, that's from the other trailer, which is also from her, from uh, H uh, Honkai Pack Third. Um, yeah, I just, I still don't get it. <laughs> All that is past. I just noticed something. Has returned to nihility. So yeah, she does talk about nihility here. Okay, so for anybody who's been still like, there's been a lot of people who have been like, ah, she might be an emanator, or, like finality or or the hunt or something on those lines. I think I think we can kind of with the last trailer. Uh, everything being swallowed up by clearly by Ix and um, and this. I'm pretty sure we can all put that to rest now. <laughs> Just like tears eventually disappear in the rain. I love that. I love that shot. That was fucking cool. There is nowhere to go but forward. The dubstep music is strange to me. 
but I, but I do like the ripple effect of it that it just, that distortedness is everything sort of um gets kind of pull it's 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 kind of like how like light and sound get like will just get distorted right after a certain point and so it's like it's all everything's being sucked into nihility and so it's all like distorting the music so whatever music would be there it's all distorted and then there is no color look at that look at that everything is swallowed in the it's not really an explosion as much as it. Damn, the visuals here are fucking crazy. They should have put an epi uh, uh, like epilepsy warning on this shit. That just looks fucking cool. Like that. That is insane. Like that. I don't know. It just looks cool. On second watch, the trailer feels better. On first watch, I'm just confused because I'm waiting for like something or whatever. I'm like trying to like listen to the music at the same time. me so she's looking for someone this is interesting i like this i like this uh symbol for hsr it's very cool very cool yeah i don't know i don't know how, i don't know what to i don't know what to feel about that that's a it's an interesting trailer it doesn't really do anything else that we don't already have for akarat if that makes sense at least not for me um other than it puts sparkle also opposed in in, in with in with it gives sparkle an interaction with akron and shows that she is possibly opposed to her as well. So, I don't know. I guess we'll see. Yeah. Let me know what you thought below. Because uh, this trailer definitely gave me a lot of food for thought. I don't really have a lot of thoughts to express at the moment. Because it's just percolating in the brain. So, yeah. Yeah. With that in mind, that's going to be the end of this one. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and uh, let me know. Uh, let me know what you think of this trailer because it's definitely th thought provoking, not in like that super deep way or anything along those lines. Just interesting. I'm, I wasn't a big fan. I can say this: I wasn't a big fan of like the lack of music, I guess. It, but I did like the way it was distorted music. I don't know. Yeah. Like, you know how most trailers have, like, oh, this is that character's song now? I don't really feel like there was a character song in this, which I guess is okay. Which I guess is okay. So, yeah, that's it. I'll catch you guys later. Bye.